in uh, an earlier YouTube video on using PowerPoint within Zoom, I mistakenly said that you can only view presenter mode in PowerPoint when you have an external monitor or a projector plugged in. I've just found out that that's not actually true. I don't know if this is a recent change in PowerPoint, but certainly on my version of PowerPoint on my Mac. Uh, and also I've tried this on a Windows PC, so it works in exactly the same way. And both I've tried without an external monitor plugged in. This works. You can view presenter mode, which covers off a lot of the issues that people have when sharing full screen slides is that they say how do I see my speaker notes uh, without looking down at my notes on my desk I want to keep my eye on the camera so this way works for Mac and PC to share um, uh, to view presenter mode and share from it so let me demonstrate what we're talking about so here I've got a presentation I want to share I've got zoom up and run running want to uh, share these slides so normally I'd run this in full screen and then share that instead I'm going to run presenter view so how you do that is you go into the slideshow option within the menu and then choose presenter view so it goes into presenter view presenter view as far as I'm aware only ever runs in full screen you can't change this it's always taking up the full screen so I've now got my full screen taken up entirely by presenter view as I showed in an earlier YouTube video one of the things you now need to do is get back to zoom to be able to then share this with your zoom participants so as shown on an earlier video what you do on a Mac is hold down the command key with your thumb and then use the tab key until your cursor, you can see my cursor moving backwards and forwards as I do tab, I'm also holding down then shift and tab so I can go backwards until you land on the application you want to move to. This works exactly the same on a PC, you just hold down the um, alt key and then press tab. So I want to open up Zoom which is already running. As soon as I've landed on there, release my thumb and it brings Zoom to the front. So I can now share screen and here's the trick. Normally I go, I'm in the basic um, setting here and I can choose to show uh, to share any open application on my desktop or a whiteboard. Here's the trick this time, go to advanced, choose portion of screen and then share. And then when you got a gr you get this green box, only whatever's in the green box is shared with your view, your Zoom participant. So I'm going to just narrow that down so it only covers the slide itself. Um, and so there you can see, so my participants will now be viewing only this. Even though you and I can see the whole screen, um, the participants will only see the slides. Um, so the advantage here is I can see what the participants are seeing here. I can see the next slide coming up here. I can see my slide notes so I can read those and I can also jump to any slide in my presentation. Um, participants who are viewing, if they add annotations, then they, they show up just as normal here. And then the final thing to getting complete control of everything is within the Zoom menu to call up the dialog boxes that I usually want open. I want my chat open and running, and I also want my participants so I can control those. And there, that's it. I, I feel like I'm in complete control now. I can um, choose to view um, everything that's going on. I can look at my uh, slides, the one that um, uh, participants are seeing. I can see the next slide coming up so I know what's happening. I can jump to a slide. So if I go right to the end here, I can go backwards and forwards. I can do the slide builds, which is also something that may not happen in one of the earlier videos I showed. And one final tip. Uh, which I should have probably mentioned earlier, if you haven't already got a widescreen monitor, buy yourself one straight away. Uh, we're all, I think, going to be doing a lot more virtual type work. If you try to do this kind of stuff on a small screen, either a laptop screen or even a desktop normal size screen, it is very, very difficult. If you have a widescreen monitor, you can call up the presenter view, as I've said, but then you've still got lots of space within that view to position your chat box um, and also your participants box. You could also then, if you're running as a second screen, you could move those over to the um, other part of the, the, the laptop screen. Um, but if you try to do the all on one screen, it will be extremely confusing. So I just bought a 34 inch Dell curved monitor and it was worth every penny of the £755. Uh, again, it's a business expense, so it doesn't feel like real money, but will make life so much easier. Okay, hope you found that useful. Again, check out my other videos, subscribe and feel free to share them.